Okay, so question six is when we start looking at your financial math. So let's just hop right into it. 6.1 says, Sandile bought a car for 180,000 Rand. The value of the car depreciated at 15% per annum according to the reducing balance method. The book value of Sandile's car is currently 79,866 Rand at 96 cents. So 6.1.1 asks us to calculate how many years Sandile bought the car ago. So this value is the accrued or the final value. It is depreciated from 180,000 Rand to this 79,000 Rand. So remember, reducing balance, A equals P1 minus I to the power of M. Okay, so a is 79,866 rand and 96 cents. P was the 180,000 rand that the car was bought for in the first place. One minus, okay, I, guys, remember I is in terms of percent. So 15% is the same as 0, 0,15. Okay, so one minus 0, 0,15. And we're trying to find in how many years ago Sandile bought the car. Okay, so to try and isolate in, we're going to divide both sides by 180,000 Rand. And therefore, the left hand side, if we say 1 minus 0, 0,15, we get 0, 0,85 to the power of n. Okay, so now remember if we have. Um, y equals base to the power of x. If we're trying to find x, we can say x equals log same base y. Okay, so here we can say that n is equal to log the base of 0, 0,85 and it's of 79866,96 all divided by 180. 000 rand. The reason I haven't multiplied or divided anything yet, guys, is because the moment you start running off too early, you can start messing with your decimals and you might get an answer that's not accurate. Okay, so we stick all of this into our calculator. Log 0, 0,85 and then this fraction 79,866 rand and 96 cents all over 180,000 Rand. We're going to get 4,9 recurring. And that means, guys, that you need to round up. It's roughly five years that Sandile bought the car five years ago. Okay. 6.1.2 says at exactly the same time that Sandile bought the car, a Neil deposit, deposited 49,000 Rand into a savings account at an interest rate of 10% per annum. Compounded quarterly, very important. Has Anil accumulated enough money in his savings account to buy Sandile's car now? Okay, so remember that Sandile's car is now worth this almost 80,000 Rand. Okay, so we need to check if after five years, because it's been five years at exactly the same time, remember, exactly the same time, five years ago, if after five years, and Neil's 49,000 Rand has accumulated enough interest to buy the car. Okay, so Anil deposited 49,000 Rand into an account at, remember, 10% is the same as saying 0, 0,1 because it's 10 out of 100. Okay, so into a savings account, 1 plus, because he's accumulating interest, 0, 0,1. And remember, it's compounded quarterly, so it's divided by 4. And now we say 4 times the number of years. Remember, it was 5 years at exactly the same time. So, easy peasy, plug that into our calculator. 49,000 Rand, 1 plus 0, 0,1, which is the 10% interest, compounded quarterly, and again, quarterly for five years. And we get 80,292. 292, and the decimal was two, one. So if we look here, Anil has a final amount of 80,292 Rand. The car 
Currently, that Sandile has is 79,000. So Neil definitely has enough to buy Sandile's car now. So you can say, yes, he has enough. Okay. 6.2 is when we start looking at loans. So here, exactly 10 months ago, a bank granted Jane a loan of 800,000 Rand at an interest rate of, okay, this 10 months ago is not necessarily important. Okay, so the interest rate is 10,25% per annum compounded monthly. Very important. So remember, guys, if we're wanting to work with this interest rate, we say 10,25 divided by 100 is equal to 0, 0,1025 and it's compounded quarterly. Okay, so the bank stipulated that the loan must be paid over 20 years. Okay, or oh, compounded monthly guys, not quarterly. So monthly means it's divided by 12. Okay, but 20 years monthly means that N is 20 years times 12 months, which is 240. Okay, so they're going to make 200, Jane's going to make 240 payments because it's a monthly payment. Must be repaid by means of monthly repayments. So, okay, she's going to make 240 repayments of this amount here. That's your X in your formula. Okay starting one month after the loan was granted. Okay, so 6.2.1. How much did Jane owe immediately after making her sixth payment? Okay, so guys, remember, if you're working with a loan, you have so many payments that you're going to make. So in this instance, she has 20 years, but 12 monthly payments per year. So it's 240 total. If I say that I want to calculate the present value of my loan, I'm looking at after six months, how much does she still have to pay? So remember, there are still those 234 months that are gaining interest after she's made her sixth payment. So if she has to make a total of 240 payments, and now after her sixth payment, we're trying to find the balance, in current or currently is the total amount of payments that she needs to make minus how many she's already made, which is 234. Okay, very, very, very important. So that's the N we're going to be using in our formula. So remember, present value is equal to the monthly repayment into 1 minus 1 plus your interest rate to the power of negative N, which is this number that we found over here, all over the interest rate. Okay. So now we can simply substitute it in. Remember her monthly repayments are 7,853 Rand and 13 or 15 cents into one minus one plus. Remember we said that I over here is 0 0,1025 divided by 12. And it's negative N, so negative 234 payments still to be made. And that is all divided by 0, 0,1025 over 12. Okay, so now we simply plug this into the calculator. And we're going to get 7853.15 into 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0,1025 over 12 to the power of negative 234. Remember to close your brackets. And it's the interest rate again. Okay, so she still owes 793,749 Rand, and I think it was 25 cents indeed. Okay, so after six repayments, she still owes this massive amount of money. That's why loans are so scary because of their interest rates. So 6.2.2 says due to financial difficulties, Jane missed her seventh, eighth and ninth payments. She was able to make payments from the end of the 10th month onwards. Calculate Jane's increased monthly payment in order to settle the loan in the original 20 years. So we're still trying to settle it in 20 years. Okay, so what you need to remember guys, after her sixth payment, she still owed 
the 793,749 Rand and 25 cents. Okay, so if we draw a timeline, that's after her 240th payment. After her sixth, she still owed this whole amount over here. Okay, she misses seven, eight, and nine. So this value here, the 793,000, is going to gain one, two, three months of interest. Okay? And then she can carry on and start making her repayments from the 10th. So there are some very important things that you need to understand. One, that this 793,000 Rand, 749.25, gains three months interest okay before she starts making repayments again and then another thing is that the number of repayments now in your present value formula that you're going to substitute goes from 240 minus 10 but she still hasn't made that 10th month so it's minus nine okay so, N is going to be 240 minus 9, which is 231. Okay, so very important. First, we need to work out what she owes after the three months interest have happened. So, A is equal to 793,749 Rand and 25 cents into gaining interest is just simply 1 plus compound interest, remember, compounded monthly, and this gains three months' worth of interest. Okay, so at the beginning of her 10th month, she's going to owe 749, 25, 1 plus 0 0.1025 all over 12 to the power of 3, 814,000. 263 rand and 31 cents. Okay, I'm not going to round off right now. Okay, so this value here is now what her loan is worth or how much she has to pay off starting again from the 10th month. So now we can start calculating what her new monthly payment needs to be. So remember, present value is her monthly payment, which is what we're trying to find, into 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n all over i. And now we substitute the new values that we found. Okay, so this is what she owes. This is the present value of her loan. So we say 814,263,3052 is equal to the monthly payment that we're trying to find into 1 minus 1 plus, still the same interest. Let me just double check. 2, 5, not 5, 2. 2, 5 over 12. And remember the N is at negative 231. Okay? All over 0, 0,1025 over 12. Okay, so... My advice, guys, remember this x is being multiplied by this whole expression here. So instead of trying to mess with your decimals and rounding off and everything, we're going to take all of this here and divide that by that total. Okay, so to find x, what we do is we should already have that original answer up on our calculator. Remember, this is that present value of her loan. So we say that answer divided by, and we type out this entire blue expression here. So 1 minus 1 plus 0, 0,1025 over 12 to the power of negative 231. Remember to close your brackets, and it's over 0, 0,1025 divided by 12. And her new monthly repayments are 8,089 rand 
and 20 cents. Okay, so guys, remember, if they say that she's skipping months like they did over here, the bank is not going to let her just skip those monthly payments and be like, okay, it's fine, we won't add interest to those months. Of course not. When you take a loan, they add interest to everything. So just because she missed those payments, the bank is still like, okay, you still have this loan ticking over with the interest. So make sure you read your question. If she misses them, it's still going to gain interest. And then when she starts making her payments, you need to calculate how much that loan is worth, how much she owes after gaining that interest. Okay. So guys, if you need to draw out a timeline, re visually represent your finance so that you understand what it is that they're asking you. Okay, and that is question six.